Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Anushka if you're new here. And as you can tell from the title today, we're gonna to be reviewing some e.l.f. makeup, mainly this Halo Glow liquid filter. I've been literally seeing this everywhere on TikTok and Instagram. And whilst I'm filming this video, I will compare it to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter. I'll do each on one side and we can compare. Because everyone is saying that the e.l.f. is a dupe for this Charlotte Tilbury one. There's a huge price difference between the two. So I paid £14 for the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It comes in eight flexible shades, say multi-purpose liquid glow booster infused with skin-loving ingredients to give a soft focus social filter effect in real life. It's a skincare makeup hybrid, gives dewy skin, you can wear it alone, over or under makeup, Mix with your foundation or use as a highlighter. It's enriched with squalene and hyaluronic acid. It's bomb. The glass container is recyclable. And yeah, it's good for all skin types. So I love that they have amazing swatches on their website. Like I feel like that's so important if you're gonna bring out complexion products, you need good like swatch photos. So I picked up a medium tan which is shade five could have gotten away with medium but then also comparing it to the charlotte tilbury one they look very very similar this is what it looks like up close and it obviously has the large doe foot applicator this is with the charlotte tilbury one next to it my skin's already prepped so let's start with the elf one first oh it's like a really nice shade I'm gonna use a brush to blend this out. It's blending so beautifully and it's giving a little bit of coverage. So yeah, the shade's a little bit warm for me, but I can definitely make it work. Like it's it's wearable for me. I feel like medium would be my winter shade and medium tan is like my summer shade. Look at that beautiful glow it's not like a sparkly glow it's like a glow from within let's try the charlotte tilbury one i'm shade six in this but i feel like 5.5 would be my winter shade uh doe foot applicator is way bigger than a charlotte tilbury one which i feel like applies the product way quicker i'm gonna use a different brush I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit, but they look so similar. I can't tell the difference. Honestly, like I'm trying to find things, but even to like the shade, the shade's the same. I feel like e.l.f. have really been stepping it up. I'm just applying some concealer. I also got some of the e.l.f. bronzer putty. Such a cool name, to be honest. I got the shade Bronze Bell. Oh, that's the perfect shade for me. Oh my God, it smells amazing. <sighs> That bronzer is a 10 out of 10 for me. This bronzer is amazing. I, I can't fault it. The shade's perfect for me. This came out as a gift in my order. It's a bite-sized lip balm in the shade Berry, but I'm gonna use it as a blush. And let's put this on the lip. I feel like I do need to set my face with powder. I am gonna add a bit more blush because I feel like I need it, just a bit more color. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, I've just finished my makeup and it looks bomb, guys. I can't tell the difference between the two sides. I love the putty bronzer. I actually did get the putty primer, which I completely forgot, but I didn't wanna like disturb the longevity of the actual Halo um, Glow liquid filter because I just wanted to see how it wears on its own. Um, so yeah, I do really like this stuff. I've had it before, but this one's just the vitamin C one. But yeah, love, love, love that bronzer. Uh, the filter looks amazing. The only thing I would say about that uh, balm, it's so good on the lips. Like this is coming in my bag, but it's not good on the skin. Like it was just a bit too glowy. So I had to like powder a lot and um, I had to add some more blush because it wasn't pigmented enough for a blush. So yeah, this is really good as a lip balm only. Literally so comfortable. For the liquid filter, it's literally a filter in real life. Like my skin looks amazing. I would say though, there's a difference between this side where it just looks smoother. So the elf side looks smoother to compared to the Charlotte Tilbury side. It's way, it's more glowy. I feel like the 
e.l.f. one set a little bit. Um, that's the only difference I can see, to be honest. So we're going to test this out for the rest of the day. It's almost 8 a.m. right now, so yeah, let's see how this looks. I'll probably wear this for a few hours to see how it sits, how it wears, if it comes off. But so far, I'm so happy. So yeah, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Wow, I look a little cray-cray. It is now just almost 8.30 p.m. I think I've been wearing this for almost 12 hours now, and... I'm pretty happy with the way my makeup looks. Both have stayed on really, really well, but there's definitely more of a glow on this side compared to this side. And I think because of that, I kind of prefer the e.l.f. one. I don't know, they're both very similar. And obviously, if you don't want to spend so much on the Charlotte Tilbury one, the e.l.f. one is definitely a dupe for it um, and I do like how it sets. I honestly have no negative things to say about it. I really like the way my makeup looked today. I felt cute and yeah, it's really good. I definitely give this like a, I give this like a 10 out of 10. Like I will use this forever. I'm bringing this with me everywhere. Wow, e.l.f. I don't know what you did, but you did good. My makeup looks pretty good. I mean, it's come off slightly here, but and my nose but that's it really so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful let me know in the comments below what other products you would like me to try and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video